one more quick video while I have my medicine. Kind of calm down now. <laughs> yeah. While I have my uh, morning breakfast. Check it out, right? I used to work at a uh, drug rehab not too long ago. I worked with parolees. I ain't going to name the place. They ain't going to catch me up in no lawsuit. But check it, right? I was working with the parole population. These guys are guys who have had criminal and or drug history on their rap sheet. And I noticed an interesting anomaly. And whoever does research on this, you might win a Nobel Science Prize or something, all right? So just remember me when you get that bread. And this video is not for the children. Kids, don't do what I do. Do what your mother and father tell you to do. Check it, right? Yo, these guys in the program, in case you don't know, statistically speaking, the population of left-handed people on the planet Earth is about 20%. That's like two out of every 10 people are left-handed on the planet Earth. But when I was working at the parole house, I tell you no lie, I had them filling out welfare applications, man. So I'm right there, I got them in my office, and they're filling out the application, and I noticed something that nobody at my, none of these senior counselors, and I wasn't even a counselor, I was a welfare liaison, but none of these people, even the people who ran the program and own the program, have noticed this. There's an extremely high percentage of people in the parole drug program who are left-handed. No, this is no disrespect to my left-handed people, you know what I'm saying? But there's something about the brain of a left-handed person. I'm talking about 40 to 60%. If you go do the, do, the, do the math, if you go to the prison system or the drug rehab system, a full 40 to 60% of those people are left-handed. That is no coincidence. And if the scientists do not start studying the right side of the brain and its connection to drug addiction... And they are real stupid. Thank you.